If you are a fan of ChatGPT, you might know that you cannot take data from the internet or anything that is in 2022 using ChatGPT. ChatGPT always says that it is just a large language model and it is not connected to the internet and so it cannot give you details about anything that is current. And you can see that is a disclaimer that is mentioned everywhere. But what if you have got a chatbot or ChatGPT like chatbot that is connected to the internet and a lot of articles have been telling that ChatGPT is Google killer. But a lot of people are denying that saying that, oh no, ChatGPT is not connected to the internet. So it's not Google killer. So today we have a search engine that is called you.com and they have got a chat interface and you can chat with it. And that is what we are going to see in this particular video. Welcome to you chat. Click this, go to you.com and then you would be greeted with the small model there. And you can say, you know, chat with chat, uh, you chat. And once you go there in the sidebar, you can see the you chat. But if you want you chat to be your main interface, you can go to the left bar, left sidebar, and then you can click here the chat. And that is going to give you the chat as your main interface. And there is a default always sample question that they've got. Like, for example, in this case, what was the recent breakthrough in fusion research? And it says I couldn't generate because I think there is a browser issue. So let's ask a very simple question. One of the things that I've been using ChatGPT is to ask programming related questions. So I'm going to ask a programming related question. How can I, why am I typing all caps? Okay, how can I read a CSV using pandas in Python? And then this is a message that I've sent to you chat. And then you chat is responding to me with these messages. And we have got a very good answer. So let me go ahead and then ask another question. Um, this is more like a follow up question. I can say, can you convert the above answer to R? So I want basically the chat GPT to understand or this sorry, you chat to understand that the question that I asked above is to read CSV. Now I want the same to be converted to R and it looks like it is very well aware of the context in which we are chatting and then it has created the R answer. So I'm not going to compare answers to answer exactly for, with chat GPT, but few questions um, we are going to check. But before even we move to the questions that we want to ask you chat, I would like to highlight this fact here. It says this product isn't beta. Its accuracy may be limited. Okay, I'm fine with that. Like this is this product isn't beta and its accuracy could be limited. Um, this is quite common like if, if your product isn't better but the next line is what doesn't make any sense to me it says you.com is not liable for the content generated so it very clearly says you.com is not liable for the content generated now what does it mean i do not have any idea what does it mean but also it asks new question so if you.com is not liable for content generated are they actually attributing the owner of the content here in some cases they are but in some cases they are not. So who is the owner of this content? And if something is wrong here, who is going to be liable to it? So I don't know. It, like I, I don't have absolutely any idea about who is going to take ownership of the answers here. But this is what we have got where we have got you chat, which is like chat GPT connected to the internet. Now that we have seen you chat, now that we have seen the lock class, uh, lock laws, that they have added it there. I don't know if it is a legal requirement or what, but they have got a clause added there. So I'm going to try out a couple of questions with ChatGPT and also UChat. And the first question that I'm going to ask is, write a poem, uh, write a funny poem about how shitty corporate life is. And the same question I'm going to ask ChatGPT and we're going to compare the quality of answers between the two systems. So a corporate life can be a bore, you are stuck in meetings, never more. Your bosses are demanding, your work is mundane, your soul is dying, your life plain. Okay, so your days are filled with copy paste, your brain is numbed, you are in days, your boss is a tyrant, you are co workers lame, your motivation gone, your life's a shame. Okay, let's go to ChatGPT and then see. ChatGPT has got its own response. So, corporate life, oh, how it stings with meetings and emails, never a chance to think. Your days are filled with TPS reports and the occasional boss who completely distorts. Even though I see a very similar theme, I might probably like what ChatGPT has given. 
So what I currently do not know is what is the backend for this this particular um, uChat. Uh, I suspect this could be the text DaVinci 003 model, which is uh, which is the instruct model, which is what chat GPT is based on, like I suspect because the API is available. So let's ask some question that is very relevant, like uh, very recent. Uh, can you tell me who won the FIFA 2022 World Cup? So this is something that I don't think chat GPT could answer. Um, so it says the winner of 2022 FIFA World Cup is yet to be determined. Okay. The tournament will take place in Qatar. Okay, so this means this is also not necessarily up to date with the search engine. Like you can literally see that it doesn't have information about the FIFA 2020 World Cup that had got over a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago. Let me go back a few months back, which is in cricket. There was a 20 T20 World Cup. So let me ask who won the 2022 T20 World Cup. So the answer is England to this. So let's see if it can say, okay, so it doesn't also explain who won the T20 World Cup that happened few months back. So overall, what I see, I see that it has been, it has been portrayed as a chat bot connected to the search engine, but still it throws the facts back very similar like chat GPT, but it doesn't have very recent updated information. I don't know if that is the plan or that is not the plan, but I can still see this is definitely not a chatbot connected to the search engine except that this is a chatbot that is linked to the page of a search engine so i'm not sure if it is connected to the internet i'm not sure if it is up to date to the latest level what i might guess is probably this is using the text davinci 003 model based on which i've got a separate video about how you can build your own chat gpt clone but otherwise until that it looks like this is a very nice interface that we have got associated with the chat uh, search engine but I'm not sure how different it is from ChatGPT. Maybe this is going to stay free forever, unlike ChatGPT, which is going to be paid soon, given um, what the direction that OpenAI takes with it. But otherwise, UChat is definitely something that you can try out. Nothing great, nothing different from ChatGPT. Probably a decent ChatGPT replacement within your search interface for you to play with if you want. I hope this was helpful to you in learning about UChat and how it's a decent chat GPT in alternative within your search engine. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I would love to know how you feel about it.